Riverage kids, my name is Pam Elon, and today we are going to talk a little bit about nature's March magic. I am standing in front of Riverage Nature Center's Sugar Inn. That is where we make maple syrup, and that's what we're about to talk about. We are now going to show you the steps that we take in order to make maple syrup. The first thing you need is a sugar maple tree and we have a beauty right here in front of us. Now, in order to figure out if it's big enough to tap, we have this tool. This is called the hug test. So let's see. If my tree can fit inside of here, then it's too small to tap and we want to give it some years to grow. Aha! This tree is more than big enough to tap because we could not give it a hug. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to find the perfect spot on the tree to put in our spile. And in order to do that, the first thing we do is we look for the belly button of this sugar maple tree. Now, you might think it's kind of funny that a tree has a belly button, but all that is is where the tree was tapped in previous years. So I'm going to look and I found a little round hole, and this is where the tree was tapped in a, in a past year. So now what I'm going to do to find the perfect spot is I'm going to go up six inches and over six inches, and it looks like that is going to be our spot. Now before I show you the special equipment we use to tap the tree, let me explain a couple really important things. We only make maple syrup during this time of the year, in particular in March. Because in March we have some special weather. It tends to be above freezing during the day, 40 to 50 degrees, but at night it's cold, it's below freezing. And that temperature difference allows the sap in the tree to start to move on up and out to the branches. And that sap is what we need to make maple syrup. As a matter of fact, it takes 40 gallons of sap from a sugar maple tree to make one gallon of maple syrup. So, should we tap this tree? So here is a very important piece of equipment. This is the brace and bit. What it is is a nice sharp drill here. And we're gonna go to our spot on our tree that we've already selected. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the brace and bit at a little angle. Can everyone see that it's angled slightly downward and that will help the sap flow into my bucket, which is where I want it. Okay, here we go. So I've got the brace and bit positioned. I'm turning it in a clockwise direction. And we're only going to go two to three inches into the tree. That's all we need. I can see a little bit of the inner bark coming out. Our goal is to get all the way into the sapwood. Now here at River Edge Nature Center, when we make maple syrup. We take all the sap that we gather from the maple trees to our sugar inn and that's where we cook it. And we cook it in a big piece of equipment called an evaporator. And underneath the evaporator is a wood fire. And that wood fire heats up that maple sap and it evaporates off all the water that's in there until we have maple syrup. It takes a long time, but it's well worth it. Okay, looks like we have done it. Now we're gonna back our drill out. Okay, we've drilled our hole, and now it's time to clean it out a little bit. So I have this tool called a reamer, and I'm going to very gently place it inside the hole and out comes a little bit of sawdust. 
sometimes on a nice sunny day, the tree starts running right away. I'm not sure if we'll get that today, but let's see. Okay, now the hole is all cleaned out and it's time to put in the spile. Here's our spile. It's gonna go right into the tree and we're gonna hang the bucket off of this and then the sap will flow into the bucket through the spile. So the spile goes into our newly created hole. I'm going to very gently tap it in. Just giving it a very gentle tug to make sure it's in there and it feels like it is. Now we take our bucket, which will be collecting our sap for us. We snug it on there. The final touches the lid. On that goes to keep rain and insects and curious animals out. Now let's all cross our fingers that we get some nice warm days and nice cool nights and that this bucket is filled up in no time. So River Edge kids, that's how we make maple syrup here at River Edge Nature Center. We're so excited to have you come out and help us tap some trees, haul some sap, and taste some of our delicious maple syrup on a pancake. We'll see you soon.